I've lived in Newtown now for almost 15 years. My family, my dad's side of the family, they all grew up here, so lifelong Newtown residents. Um, I'm a bus driver, and I've been volunteering for eight years. It's a lot of, you know, family and close-knit, and it's, you know, I kind of think of that show, Cheers, you know, everybody knows your name. In the blink of an eye, your whole life can change. Here it is, 26 little kids, gone. We didn't just lose 26 people and have 11 kids highly traumatized who saw the shooting of their classmates. We had 400 more kids in that school who are going to be affected for the rest of their lives. And every day something comes up with one kid or another or a staff member that would just never happen in a pre-12-14 world. I mean, I was sitting at my desk one day and you know, I'm in the library and I'm checking a book out to a kid and their picture pops up. She goes, oh, that was before Miss Soto died. I was like, yeah, it was, honey. We liked her a lot. And that's what I mean by people don't have any idea. They think, well, it's been 18 months. I'm sure, you know, these communities, they're healed and they're moving on. These kids are never gonna be the same. I mean, a couple of the kids, you know, I drove to school and one kid's dream was to be a firefighter. And that's gone now. It shakes you and, you know, makes you take life, you know, a little more seriously. You know, we're just like you. We're just, you know, we're just regular people that something really bad happened to. And it could be you. I mean, that's one of the reasons you should get involved. It could be you. I don't think anything will ever break our bond that we have in this town. I think we will always just stick together, you know. That's just us. That's Newtown.